Boring! That's how your social media is, most of you. Well, probably. Hi, I'm Nick Bonatatibus, and on today's episode of Home Care Digital, we're talking about how to humanize your brand so you can get better results on social media. Recognize this woman? You should. She's everywhere. I hope that she's not on your website or on your social media. This is not humanizing your brand. This just makes you seem like everyone else using these boring stock photos. I mean, I hope she's getting money off of these photos. I doubt it. I doubt she's getting royal checks for every photo that's used. No shot. But if you're using her, time to stop. Same with these two and these two and these two. If you want to increase your engagement, we got to get rid of those stock photos. Take Jonathan, for example. Before I signed up for services with Nick, our social media was being done primarily by a third party company. We actually tried a couple different companies. And then I would chime in every once in a while with a post here or there, a picture of me or my staff or maybe a client. And what I found is that the posts that were done by the third party, certainly they were regular, but they rarely got any engagement, maybe a like here or there, but rarely any engagement. For the personal posts that I was doing, those are the ones that really got a lot of engagement. So I knew in my head for a few years, I just didn't know how to do it, that I wanted to really run my own social media and build my brand in my market. I saw Nick online one day, I reached out to him, told him what my vision was. He let me know I'd come to the right place. By following Nick's program, We've been able to take on the social media within our agency and terminate the services of a third party. So what we're seeing is with our personal post, the engagement is much higher than what we were having with third party vendors. And it's not a knock on third party vendors because I do believe the last one that we were using was great. The problem is that those posts that they're doing have stock images or stock videos that just don't get the same level of engagement that you get with personal posts. So for for that reason, I really and highly recommend Nick's program. So you saw before when he was having another company run it, boring stock photos, when you create more personalized, customized posts, his engagement went up because it's real, it's human. We have to be willing to manage our own social media accounts or at least do it internally. You as the owner doesn't have to do it, but when you get more personal, it makes such a greater impact. So what you can do, one, be more transparent, share who you are, be personal, that's gonna make such a huge difference. You can actually schedule a lot less social media posts. If you take the time to have a little bit more well thought out, you'll actually get a greater ROI on your post if you're more thoughtful versus trying to go all in on quantity and focus more on quality. The other aspect of social media is take your audience behind the scenes. That's what creates the transparency that generates more referrals your way is when you can showcase, hey, here we are in the office. Hey, we're celebrating this person's birthday. This is the company culture that we do, right? We want to show behind the scenes. And the thing too, when it comes to social media, so many of you guys are doing really cool, awesome things from a recruitment and retention standpoint, whether it's like ongoing training or having parties or whatever it is, giving gifts, show that. We don't need to reinvent the wheel. You're already doing so many things internally in your business. All we're doing now is just documenting it and showcasing us doing those things. So you're already doing the things in your business. We just want to show it. it. Social media isn't an additional thing that we're doing. It's part of your whole strategy. It's part of just showcasing things that you're already doing. Another aspect, stop trying to sound so smart and businessy. It's just not what people want to see. As soon as you try and be like, we provide in-home care services, blah, 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 blah. That's not what people want to hear. You want to talk to them as if you're talking to a real person and that you're not a boring ad, a billboard. Your post should not seem like ads. Speak to them like they're a human, like as if you were talking to your friend. I love this quote. This is from Marie Forleo. She's really awesome if, if you wanna check her out. I've seen her speak many times live, she's awesome. But she said, write as if you're writing to a friend. I mean, what a simple concept. When you think about that, that's going to immediately improve how you're showing up on social media, what you're sharing on your business brand to make it more human. And when you humanize your brand, you're gonna get that increased engagement just like Jonathan is, just like many of my other students are doing, when you implement these strategies in creating social media as not a side thing, but just part of what you're doing in your business that correlates and intertwines with your overall marketing strategies and your internal operations.
Another aspect of this too, to increase your engagement and humanizing is just day in the life. Show people, hey, I'm out marketing. I mean, those can be some of the best posts. You tag your referral partner. So easy to just showcase. I mean, the best tool, right? This is by far the most underrated post, the selfie. I love it. Whenever I do a selfie, it's always one of my most highest engaging posts that I do. And so if you just leverage this, utilize this, do the selfie when you're out marketing, you're at a networking event, when you're collaborating, when you're getting coffee with people, just take a selfie, post about it. It takes two minutes, take a photo, write something about it, hit post, boom, done. Simple as that. This is what social media was meant for. Facebook was created on building relationships around people, not for businesses to run ads and try and get business. That's what it turned out to be to some capacity, but social media's foundation is still based on nurturing and building relationships, so show people. People are following your page because of you. So show your pretty smiling face. Go out there and humanize your brand. Do you wanna learn how so many people just like you are getting incredible results on social media? Then you have gotta check out my brand new free training, Social Media Success, where you're gonna learn the five biggest mistakes home care business owners are making and how you can avoid them. All you gotta do is go to the digitalchamps.com slash social and start watching today.